Hello, welcome to my video. I'm going to talk about repairing a shower curtain that I had that has developed some tears and holes in it where the rings actually attach to it. So I'm going to show you how I can actually reclaim this. There's some sewing that you would have to do to fix it and punching some new holes. So this is a shower curtain I was referring to. It's a really nice shower curtain. It's got a lot of um, um, fishes um, on it and it looks like it's uh, deep in the sea. Uh, it's a really nice shower curtain. I don't want to um, throw it away. It has some issues. I'll show you shortly what those are. We do have areas that have actually ripped. Um, this area in particular, you can see the rip in there. There's another area on the other end that's totally ripped off. Uh, you can see that. So what I plan to do with this is to actually fold it, actually fold it down and then sew the entire thing and punch some new holes. Um, that's, that's my intent. To do the sewing, I'm going to use a Brother VX 1250 sewing machine. This is over 20 years old, but you know, I don't do very much sewing and um, when I need a sewing machine, this is there for me. So I'm going to try use this to fix the shower curtain. Um, I'm going to show you the actual machine. Uh, the actual machine is here and I'm going to use this to actually um, try to sew the curtain. So one of the first things I'm going to do before I even start sewing is to fold this, um, fold this at least till here because you can see if you look at this, this is where I have the tear. So I want to make sure this is folded in so I'm clearing the tear. Also go to the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to fold it. Make sure it's evenly folded. And then I'm going to put tape. I have a masking tape I'm going to use to tape these edges so they don't move when I'm sewing. I'm not going to show you how to set up a sewing machine to do the sewing because I myself needed help to do this. If you don't have a sewing machine or you can't, um, you uh, really don't um, know how to sew, I would recommend you uh, see a tailor to do this. But you know, when you look at the cost of a shower curtain, it might not be worth doing it. If you do have a sewing machine, it's the best thing. But if you don't, you have to make that decision whether you want to use a tailor to sew your curtain or do you want to buy a new one. It might be cheaper to buy a new one. So here I'm going to start sewing. The hard part about sewing is going to be getting it, keeping it straight while you go through the sewing machine. And I'm not really good at this. I, I don't do this all that much. So we'll see. So I ran into some issues where um, the, the thread actually got cut. Um, so we had to fix it and now we're back to doing it again. So I've actually put in two sets of uh, threads. You can actually see that going from top to bottom um, into the curtain. So if one fails, at least we have a second one to rely on. The next thing we have to do is to punch the holes for the for the hooks and that's what I'm going to do next, punching holes. For that I'm going to use a, a hole puncher, a handheld hole puncher. So I'm going to line up the holes exactly as previously. So there's one hole that lines up right there. I'm going to put a hole there. The next thing I'm going to do is cut the ends. Just make sure I cut it below the uh, area which uh, was 
which I put the sewing threads on. It's almost like having a, a coral sea in your bathroom. It's really nice. I'm glad I could have fixed it.